<clears throat> let's go Oilers. Let's go Oilers indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. Welcome to post. Sorry. Welcome to round two playoff predictions. As well as a quick little recap of what had happened in round one. Yeah, it wasn't pretty for your boy Matt guessing in the East. I will, uh, I'll take the L on that. Guessing in the East, I will, uh, I'll take the L. Definitely need to learn more about the East, as they say, right? Like, you can get your Nikes together, as they say. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies. My name is Matt. We are on episode 127, second round preview and predictions. Now, let me just tighten up my tie a little bit. The West was kind to your guy. The East was not. I voted with my heart in the East. And I voted against the Toronto Maple Leafs and they made me eat some crow. Congratulations to you Leaf fans out there in Euler After Dark Nation. The crow has been eaten. Uh, I didn't think you were going to wait beat Tampa, but... You did, so you got out of round. You got out of round one. Congratulations. Now you get to place Florida. Florida? Damn. Florida upset Boston. So for those that don't know, round two sees Vegas and Edmonton. The Oilers are the road team in that one. Seattle and Dallas. Again, Seattle is the road team in that one. Florida goes into Toronto, Carolina, and New Jersey. New Jersey goes into Carolina. So let me just recap what I said was going to happen in round one. I said Winnipeg was going to beat Vegas. That obviously did not happen for a plethora of reasons, and we can get into that on a later date. Majority of the reasons being that Winnipeg was hurt. Top to bottom, Winnipeg was hurt. Top guys hurt on offense. Top guys hurt on the defense. You just can't win playoff series when your top guys are hurt. Point blank, plain and simple. Um, I, I had Edmonton beating LA. Duh, Oilers channel. Um, and, and as close as the first two games were after that, it was Oilers dominance. I had Seattle beating Columbus. Yes, to all you people that said I was smoking drugs and I need to lay off the... <clears throat> I called this series for two reasons. Two of them. Big two O's. Grubauer, former Colorado goalie, left Colorado with kind of a disdain taste in his mouth, if you feel me. I honestly believe that Grubauer left Colorado with a spur in his saddle and wanted to prove something. He proved it. It took seven games, but he proved it. Also, I didn't. I don't think Colorado is as good as people give them credit for. And I will give you a stat to back it up. In the last 20 years, Colorado has been out of the second round once. And that was when they won the cup last year. After that, it's been... First round knockout, second round knockout, first round, first round, first round, did not make, did not make, did not make, second round, first did not make, first round knockouts or did not make. This team isn't good, guys. Colorado's not the juggernaut team everybody thought they were. I digress and I move on. Sorry, I was fans. Facts are facts. You're just not that good of a team. I did have Dallas beating Minnesota as they should have and did. Minnesota, I don't know what Minnesota is. I think Fleury's done as a goalie. I think Minnesota just were lucky to be there. Now we move on to the East. I did have Boston beating Florida because I didn't think Boston was going to lose to Florida. I thought Boston was going to lose to Tampa in the second round. But not Florida. Hey, 
Sometimes a blind dog falls, finds a bone once in a while. I had Tampa beating Toronto because obviously pick against Toronto till you prove me wrong. You prove me wrong. Maybe I don't go against you next year. Although, get out of round two. And this is where I'm going to tell you, Leaf fans, yes, you got out of round one. Yes, you got that big old monkey off your back. Congratulations. Welcome to the club of getting out of the first round. But, get out of round two. Furthermore, do it again next year. Get out of round one next year. And the reason why you got out of round one this year, and I will lay it on the line, and I don't care if you come at me. Tampa was hurt, and Tampa's team... Overall, has played more hockey than any other team in the NHL in the last four seasons. It was a perfect storm for the Maple Leafs to beat the Lightning, and you still had to go out and do it, and you did it. Congratulations. I had the Islanders beating Carolina. Boy, do I look like a stupid monkey, because I had the Islanders all in all the way to the cup final. Nostalgia in me, I guess. That's, that was my heart picking. That was my heart pick. Was the Tampa, Tampa the Islanders... Carolina series was my heart pick because the Oilers, I wanted to see them play a team that they have history against in the East. And they have history against the Islanders, a la 1980s, when the Islanders showed the Oilers how to win and how to win. More than one, more than back to back, but just how to win. Um, and I had the Devils beating the Rangers. Well, duh! Have you not paid attention to Jersey Devil hockey? Did you not pay attention to how the Rangers are playing? The Rangers were hired mercenaries for the regular season. Should have been for the playoff run, but this just shows you can't buy championships. You just can't, not in the NHL. So Kane was a fail, and I don't like the way the Rangers did that. I touched on it in my previous video with the Oilers Vegas about salary cap circumvention. What Vegas did was bad. Holding out guys because they were hurt, even though they were practicing every day with the team, full practices, body contact, you know it. They were doing it, just weren't in games. Why? Because of salary cap implications. What the Rangers did was worse. What the Rangers did was they had third-party teams retain 50% salary of said player. So let's say that player A is going to team B, but Team C, who's not even in the playoffs and has a plethora of cap space, says, hey, we'll retain salary. He'll never be a product of ours. On paper, he'll join us long enough for us to retain 50% salary, and then you'll get the trade. So it's a three-way trade. I don't like those trades. I don't like them. I think that is circumventing the salary cap. And again, that needs to be looked at in the offseason. NHL, please... If you need some help looking up some special ways to stop teams from cheating, give this guy a call. I got a lot of good ideas. I'm good with them. I'm, I'm hockey knowledgeable. I'm, I'm very knowledgeable. I can tell you things that most people don't even know. So anyways, that's my, uh, that's my thing. Those are my picks. My picks to advance in round two. I do have Florida beating... So that's the recap of my side. So the recap for BW. BW did better than I did because he had Toronto winning. He had Boston winning. He had Carolina winning. And he had the Rangers winning. So he was two for four on the East. He was two for four in the West as well because he had Pittsburgh. He had Edmonton. He had Colorado and he had Dallas. We saw, I, I just had a feeling Seattle was going to do something. So he overall was... Two for eight, I was three for eight. So he overall was four for eight, I was two for eight. Three for eight. It, he, he did better than me. He, he, he led with statistical categories and with it's Toronto's year and they got to win one sooner or later, right? I didn't go that route. So congratulations to BW. You are two up on, one up on me right now, sorry. One up on me in the overall pick -em. Good job, buddy. I, I appreciate that, putting me in my place a little bit. Now on for round two. I have Florida beating Toronto. He has Toronto beating Florida. We're going to be different there, and that's okay. He has Carolina beating Jersey. I have Jersey beating Carolina. 
Again, we're going to be very different there. In the West, he has Oilers beating Vegas. I have Oilers beating Vegas, obviously. And he has Dallas beating Seattle. I have Dallas beating Seattle. Like, come on, Wrigley. So we're going to be the same out West. We're going to be different in the East. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Again, thank you for commenting on the last video. I greatly appreciate you guys. Please leave your comments on what your suggestions are. Like, honestly, like, let me know. Am I completely out to La La Land lunch with this? Because, man, I didn't do too good in round one. If I don't do good in round two, I might need you guys' help. I might just throw my picks out into the YouTube verse and say, hey, you guys pick my round three winners for me. Whatever you guys say, I will go with, and those will be my picks. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. This is episode 127, round two preview. Please like, comment, tell us how we're doing. Say hi. Tell all your friends. We're not that bad. And we will see you tomorrow night, 7.30, Oilers, Vegas, live stream. See you there.